today I wanna show you um, how I will plant this monstera. Um, I propagated this plant. This plant I got from our family friend, from my husband's friend. Um, one day we gave him lemon tree, which I grew from seeds. And now my lemon trees are so big and I have so many lemon trees um, and he brought this monster cutting for me and let me show you my lemon trees these are my lemon trees I planted them all from seeds and now they are higher than me they are tall um, I have so many and I don't know what to do with these plants I have to get rid of this plant there are so many and in winter time I have to take them inside and there is no room for them and this year I decided to share with people and I gave, gave uh, two lemon trees um, to our family friend my husband's friend um, and that lemon tree started blooming they all started blooming this uh, in the winter time they bloomed for me um, and I took them outside now they're outside See, they need good care I don't have time to take care of them and they get whatever they can get from nature um, when it rains they drink water uh, most of the time I don't have even time to water them um, and I gave to a family friend two of them and he decided to bring me some cutting from Monstera and uh, now I, I wanna plant that Monstera plant Monstera cutting and here you see my passion vine which is growing crazy I planted this uh, uh, passion vine from small cutting it was this much small this much and see in two years how it's growing it's growing crazy it's climbing on my peach trees it's all everywhere see and how it's blooming this is i love this plant when it blooms um my garden smells with honey i love its smell and see here even bee is sitting they love all our neighbors bees are in my garden every day they visit my garden even a uh, calibri uh, bird comes to my garden every day um, and I'm enjoying with nature you know all kind of bees birds uh, are in my garden and someday I will show you how how easily uh, how to propagate easily this plant now I, I want to show you how I'm going to plant my monstera. Here I have, see, I have so many propagations. I put in water. This, um, this uh, plant, this is, um, oh, I, I forgot its name. Um, okay, um, I forgot its name now. <laughs> it's not coming to my mind, okay. Uh, Dracena, now I remember, Dracena. I propagated from bouquet. Uh, this, uh, um, you know, this kind of bouquet you can find from trade jewels uh, and you can easily make your plant, Dracena plant. It was in bouquet and I put in the water and now it's um, rooting. See, it has so many roots. And this plant, Philodendron, uh, Philodendron, uh, it is, I cut it from my uh, philodendron, which is in the corner. Now it's, it has roots also and I have to plant. This is my Hoya and this is my, my Plumeria, still sitting in this uh, vermiculite and perlite mixture. I have to plant this one too. But now I am going to show you how I am going to plant my Monstera to make it happy. See, in this, um, in this ways it uh, rooted. See how many roots it has. Before I, I 
had to plant this monstera earlier but uh, you know it's okay if I plant it now too um, this root is decayed I have to remove this and the, all the rest are good see they're healthy and in pretty shape now it's ready to uh, plant and this um, this leaf it grew in my house when family friend brought this cutting it had only this leaf and this leaf grew in the waist see it's smaller because uh, it doesn't get enough nutrition in the water that's why it's smaller if I plant it can grow more leaves and it can be more happier that's why I need to plant it today um, see I never changed the water the water is dirty very dirty see but it's very happy in this um, water when I put my plants in water I never change the water because uh, they love their water I never change even uh, from that uh, philodendron I never change the water you see it's all there and um, whenever water becomes less I add a little bit water and that way I keep my plants in water I never change the water um, and let's start planting this plant um, for that I need um, coco peat see this is co coco peat and I'm gonna show you um, which coco peat I use it's from this you can find this uh, in Walmart they sell smaller ones four times smaller in um, Menards um, and this one I found from Walmart and now I have already um, open one which I pre prepared earlier and now I'm gonna use this now I put see how I measure let me put in this spot and you will see how, ma how many how much uh, cocoa peat and potty mix we need now I'm adding two parts of cocoa peat. See, it's all, already uh, half of pot. Now I need to add one cup of cocoa peat. This is third cup of cocoa peat. See, I need to take half pot of cocoa peat and half pot of. Uh, this uh, potting soil usually I use this pro mix for all of my plants but this time I'm gonna use this because I got this from my friend my friend uh, Vlasta she gave it to me uh, she's plant person also she found this uh, potting mix very cheap from Costco and she bought it for me um, and now it was on sale it was four dollars this is big bag uh, and it was on clearance and she bought it for me thank you Vlasta for taking care of me for thinking of me and see um, I'm adding three cups of uh, potty mix three cups you see my pot still is not full and now I'm gonna add it means 50 50 50 uh, percent of uh, cocoa coir and 50 percent potting soil now I'm gonna add this uh, pine bark uh, with a little bit um, sphagnum moss this is old medium from my orchids I never throw away something which is left over from my plants this is old medium I changed the medium from my orchid and still I'm keeping this medium uh, I can use for other plants see I'm adding this and I'm adding this perlite see now my pot is almost full and I'm adding this uh, vermiculite see my pot is full now I will mix this all in this dish 
and you will see what kind of soil I would have. This, um, why we need to add, uh, why I add uh, to my soil this cocoa peat, you can ask, um, it can come to your mind because it makes your um, soil airy uh, and it will work for the drainage um, it and your plant will be happy it will never get uh, you know hard like stone and it would be always you know fluffy and light soil for your plant see how it's light and see how it's good it looks very nice and we, our plant roots will swim in this soil and they will be happy I most of time I use cocoa peat for all of my plants because um, I will show you something and you will um, understand what I mean when the you know when the um, when you plant your um, plants only in pit moss and you add vermicule uh, perlite it will look like this later see when roots will grow it will look like this and when you put water water doesn't uh, uh, this um, soil does will not absorb the water and instead of uh, going in the water will go around the pot and will easily come out you know f from the edges from this sides it will never go inside and your plant roots will suffer from that this is very bad that's why i add always um, this cocoa coir to my soil always i add and even even here you see you know the perlite lots of perlite but it becomes compacted with peat moss and when you water um, the water will not go inside the soil that's why um, and this one will never become like that whenever you water when the soil will become extremely uh, dry anyway when you put water water goes directly in the soil it will never stay you know it will never go around the soil and go easily down it will it's very good drainage you know this uh, this soil is light and fluffy see and your plant would be happy now i am gonna plant this monstera for that i have to put some I have to fill this pot halfway like this and place my monstera. I'm not uh, going to um, see it's um, the roots are in one place I, and I have to open it a little bit as much as I can like this so the roots will feel that there now in the soil and w they will grow inside the soil see it's still there and i don't need this i'm gonna add little bit soil to make uh, see i add it and this is high and i will move the soil a little bit to the side and I place my monster in the center and I'm gonna see this root and I have to place it in the soil it's going up and now I have to cover these roots with the soil now I am covering these roots with the soil like this and I press a little bit so that this plant will not, you know, move. And see, now it's stable in the soil. 
I choose not big pot. This is middle size pot. Uh, I think it's six inch pot or more than six. Um, when the roots will grow, when the roots will fill this pot fully, I will change the pot. It's better to plant it now in the middle size pot, not in a big huge pot. And then later I can change the pot and I can add fresh soil. That's why I don't plant my um, plants when I propagate them. I don't plant um, right away in the big pot. Even I know that the plant will grow big. This plant is gonna be huge. But later I will change this, uh, the pot and I add a little bit fresh soil. It's better to do that. And now see, I took exactly uh, the soil, how much I need. I took the exactly the uh, right soil, see, it filled my pot. And now I am gonna water. What is the next step? Let me show you. Here I have um, Epsom salt and I have Kalmak. Now I am gonna fertilize this plant right away. I do this all the time with my plants and they will be happy. And now uh, I have water, one gallon of water and this Kalmak I put in uh, this jar, small jar because it's comfortable for me to use, it's easy to use. And I'm gonna take one spoon of Kalmak and mix it in the water. And one spoon of Epsom salt. One spoon of Epsom salt and mix it well in the water. And water this plant. This uh, even in the ways when it was in the water sometimes when I water my orchids I put little bit water with fertilizer in this ways you know that way this plant is happy see the leaves even it's small the leaf is green because it got all always um, food if we don't add, if we don't feed our plants in the water, they can die. That's why the roots are strong and happy, healthy, and the leaf is also happy. When he brought, when family friend brought this plant, it was a little bit yellow, like this. And when I started feeding this plant in the water, uh, it became more darker. The green, you know, the color started becoming more more dark green and this leaf grew see how it's dark green if you compare you can see and now and now it's it would be happy because i am feeding this plant this plant already know this fertilizer it's not new something for this plant and i'm not scared that right away after planting uh, that i am fertilizing this plant because this plant already knows this food it already ate this food I will water until the water comes out of the pot I, th I think this is enough and later the water will go down and come out the, this step is very important we need to water our plants after planting if we don't water this root these roots can die see how fast this um, soil is absorbing water see how it's coming out see? the water coming out very fast This uh, soil you can use for all of your plants. This is very good soil. It's checked. I already checked this soil 
every time I use for my plants. Now this monstera is planted. Um, if I see something new, some new growth, uh, I will update. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like this video. Uh, put thumbs up. See you later. Bye.